Hello everyone, welcome to Premier Math. Today we are going to discuss SSC Sigil previous year questions. We will be solving all these questions using speed matrix. So let's start our session. Our first question is A shopkeeper bought toffees at a rate of 10 for rupees 15 and sold them at a rate of 16 for rupees 40. Find his profit percentage. Here we don't know how much he bought, how much he sold. So take cost price and sell price of one toffee. Here he bought 10 toffees at rupees 15 means cost price of 1 toffee is equal to 15 by 10 that is 1.5 rupees. Now sell price of 1 toffee is equal to he sold 16 toffees for rupees 40 means sell price of 1 toffee is equal to 40 by 16 which is equal to 4 cos 4 times in 60, 4 cos 10 times in 40, 10 by 4 is equal to 2.5 rupees. Now difference between sell price and cost price is 1 rupees. This 1 rupees is generated from this 1.5 rupees. So profit is equal to 1 rupee generated from this 1.5 rupees into 100 which is equal to 1000 by 15. That is 15 goes 6 times in 100 remaining 100 15 goes 6 times in 100. So 66.666 so which is equal to 66.67 percentage option 4 is your answer. Here question is given in Hindi, please read it. That is, here question says, consider you are flying a kite and height of the kite is equal to 180 meter and this kite makes 60 degree with the horizontal. Then we have to find out the horizontal distance between the two ends of the kite. That is, here you are flying a kite and height of this kite is equal to 180 meter. Then we have to find out the distance between the two ends of this kite. That is, this distance. Now, this kite makes 60 degree with the horizontal. If you take tan 60, tan 60 is equal to root 3. That is, opposite side by adjacent side is equal to root 3. Root 3 means root 3 by 1. That is, here root 3 part is equal to 180 meter. Then we need what is 1 part. 1 part is equal to 180 by root 3. So, if I multiply numerator and denominator with root 3, you can see this is 3. 3 goes 60 times in 180. So, 60 root 3 option 2 is your answer. Find the value of following expression. As per Birdman's rule, solve this bracket first. That is 6 into 4 plus 1 is 25 by 4 into 15 plus 1 is 16 by 15. 4 goes 4 times in 16. 5 goes 3 times in 15. 5 goes 5 times in 25. So, 20, 20 by 3 is this term. Now, solve division that is these two terms 5 plus 4 is 9 9 by 5 division i'll write it as multiplication 3 into 4 plus 3 is 12 plus 3 15 by 4 so i'll write it as 4 by 15 now 3 goes 3 times in 9 3 goes 5 times in 15 so this time will become 12 by 25 now write these two terms that is in numerator you have 4 into 3 plus 1 13 by 3 plus 3 into 3 plus 1 10. So 10 by 3 into this term is 12 by 25. This is equal to 20 by 3. Now in, in denominator you have 2 by 3. Division I will write it as multiplication. Now, now reverse it. That is 6 by 5 into 2 by 3. 3 goes 2 times in 6. That is in denominator you have 8 by 15. Here 25 goes 8 times in 200. Now 3 goes 4 times in 12. This is equal to 32 by 3. So 32 by 3 plus 13 by 3. Denominator is common. So 3. 32 plus 13 by 3 is equal to 45. So 45 by 3. Here we have in denominator we have 8 by 15. So write it as 15 by 8. Now 3 goes 5 times in 15. 45 into 5 is equal to 14 into 5, 20. So this is 225 by 8 which is equal to 8 goes 2 times in 16 remaining 65. So 8 goes 8 times in 65. So 28 1 by 8. 28 into 1 by 8. Option 1 is your answer. Find the smallest number which should be added to the smallest number divisible by 6, 9 and 15 to make it a perfect square. Here 
to find the smallest number divisible by 6, 9 and 15, take the LCM of 6, 9 and 15, which is equal to 15 into 6 is 90. So 90 is the LCM. Here, if you add 10 to 90, which will become 100. So option 1 is your answer. That is 10 is the smallest number, which added to 90 make it a perfect square. The radio of two concentric circles with center over 26 cm and 16 cm. Code AB of the larger circle is tangent to the smaller circle at C. AD is diameter. What is the length of CD? Here, these two are concentric circle with center O and code AB. Code AB is tangent to the smaller circle at point C. And here, AB is AD is diameter. So we have to find out what is the length of CD here. Here, if you look at this, AD is diameter. Diameter can create 90 degree at any point on the circumference of the circle. Point B is on the circumference of the circle. So this angle is 90 degree. Same way, radius create 90 degree with the tangent. And here, radius of smaller circle is 16. And this is AO is radius of larger circle which is 26 so this is also 26 now this larger triangle adp larger triangle adp is similar to this smaller triangle aoc that is here these two are radius and here this point a is common so these two are similar triangle means Ratio of corresponding sides are equal, which means if this is 16, this should be 32. 16 into 2, 32, because here this is 26. That is hypotenuse of smaller triangle is 26. Hypotenuse of larger triangle is 26 into 2, 52. So this is in the ratio 1 is to 2, which means height of these two triangles should be in the ratio 1 is to 2. That is Height of smaller triangle is 16. Height of larger triangle should be 32. So this will be in the ratio 1 is to 2 as well. And here this is 26 and this is 16. Which means this side is equal to 26 square minus 16 square. Root of 26 square minus 16 square. Which is equal to 676 minus 16 square is 256 which is 420. So, this side is equal to root 420. Same way, this side is also root 420. AC is equal to CB. Then we can find CD. That is, CD here is equal to 32 square. CD square is equal to 32 square plus root 420 square. Which is equal to 32 square is equal to 1024. And root 420 square is equal to 420, which is 1444. That is 4 is unit digit here. If you square 8, 8 is 64. So 4 is unit digit. So option 4 is your answer. 42 is way larger. So option 4 is your answer. Find the sum of greatest and smallest number which may replace k. In the number 328 1k6 to make the number divisible by 6. To be divisible by 6, it should be divisible by 3 and 2. If a number is divisible by 6, it should be divisible by both 3 and 2. Here, if a number is divisible by 3, its digital sum should be divisible by 3. That is here, 328 1k6 is divisible by 3 means its digital sum is equal to 8 plus 1 is 9, 6 plus 3 is 9. That is 2 plus k, its digital sum. It should be divisible by 3. Now, k should be, k should be 2 plus 1 is 3. k can be 1, 2 plus 4 is 6. So, k can be 4, 2 plus 7 is 9. So, k can be 1, 4, 7, but we need small and largest number. So, here, 4 eliminated that is 1 plus 7 we need our answer is 1 plus 7 small smallest number is 1 and largest number is 7 so 8
eight option to receive your answer. A household appliance company offers two successive discount of 20% and 35% on the sale of food processor. What is the final sale price of a food processor costing 4580 rupees? Here use the successive discount formula that is first discount 20%, second is 35%. Then 25 plus 35 minus 20 into 35 by 100 is the total discount which is 55 minus 7 which is equal to 48 percentage is the total discount here. Now if total discount is 48 percentage then 100 minus 48 that is 52 percentage of cost price 4580 is the selling price. Here this is 52 percentage of 4580. So if you take 50 percentage, 50 percentage is half of 4000, 2000 and half of 500, 250, half of 80, 40. So 290. So 2290 which means your answer should be greater than 2290 and nearer to 2290. Here if you look at this options nearer to 2290 is option 3. So, option 3 is your answer. If 5x minus 1 by 4x is 6 and x greater than 0, then find the value of 25x square minus 1 by 16x square. This is like m a square minus b square. a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b. So, find a plus b. Here a minus b is given which is 6. So, if I square it, square the whole term which is equal to 5x the whole square is 25x square plus here minus 1 by 4x the whole square is equal to plus 1 by 16x square minus 2 into 5x into 1 by 4x. 5x into 1 by 4x is 5 by 4. So, 2 into 5 by 4 is 5 by 2 which is equal to 6 square 36. Now, add 5 by 2 to the 36. So, which is equal to 5 by 2 plus 36. 2 into 36 is 72. 72 plus 5 is 77. So, this is 77 by 2. Now, if I take 5x plus 1 by 4x, that is a plus b. Now, take the square of a plus b. Square of a plus b is equal to 25x square plus 1 by 16x square plus 5 by 2 that is here 25x square plus 1 by 16x square is equal to 77 by 2 plus 2 into 5x into 1 by 4x is equal to 5 by 2. So this whole term will be 77 by 2 plus 5 by 2 which is equal to 82 by 2 that is 41. Now a plus b is equal to that is 5x plus 1 by 4x is equal to root 41. In that case, here a minus b is 6. a minus b is 6. Then a plus b is equal to root 41. So, 6 root 41 option 1 is your answer. In triangle ABC, bisector of angle BAC meets BC at point D in such a way that AB is 10 cm, AC 15 cm, BD is 6 cm. Find the length of BC. Here, this is triangle ABC. Now, this is bisector of BC and it meets at point D. Now, here AB is 10 cm and AC is 15 cm and BD is 6 cm. Whenever bisects are meet at the base, here ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. That is here 15 by 10. 15 by 10 is in the same ratio of CD by DB. CD by DB is equal to 6 which means CD is equal to 15 into 6 by 10. which is equal to 9 which means here BC is equal to if CD is 9 then 
BC is equal to 9 plus 6, 15. Option 3 is your answer. A and B working alone can complete a work in 8 days and 12 days respectively. They started working together but A left 2 days before the completion of the work. In how many days was the work completed? Here A can complete a work in 8 days, B can complete it in 2 days. Both are doing the same work so take the LCM. LCM is 24, 8 goes 3 times in 24, 12 goes 2 times in 24. Meaning of this diagram is 24 unit is the total work. A can complete 3 unit of work in a day. B can complete 2 unit of work in a day. Now, total work is 24 unit means here A left 2 days before the completion of the work which means in 2 days B alone work. So, B complete 2 unit of work in a day. So, in 2 days 2 into 2, 4 unit of work he completed which means remaining work is 24 4 which is completed by, this 20 unit is completed by both A and B. That is, 3 plus 2, 5 unit of work will completed by A and B in one day. So, in D days, they will complete 20 unit, which means D is equal to 20 by 5, 4 days. So, total number of days is equal to 4 plus 2, 6 days. That is, in 6 days, 24 unit completed. Option 1 is your answer. A person A started a business by investing rupees 65,000. After a few months, B joined him by investing rupees 50,000. Three months after the joining of B, C joined the two with an investment of rupees 55,000. At the end of the year, A got 50% share. For how many months did A alone finance the business? Take the ratio of investment of A, B, and C, which is equal to A 65,000, B. 50,000 and C 55,000. Now take the ratio. 5 goes 13 times in 65, 5 goes 10 times in 50, 5 goes 11 times in 55. That is 13 is to 10 is to 11. Now A worked for 12 months which means A share is equal to 13 into 12, 156. This 156 is half of the total share. That is 50 percentage share is A share which means if total Share is equal to two part. Out of this two part, one part is his share. That is, here, 50 percentage is the total share. 50 percentage means 50 by 100. That is, 1 by 2. If two part is the total share, then one part is A share. Then, remaining one part is B plus C share. Now, here, if C worked for N months, C invested for N months, then B invested for N plus 3 months because after 3 months C joined these two people. That is B invested 3 more months than C. Now B plus C share is equal to 10 into N plus 10 into 3 30 plus 11 into N 11 N which is equal to remaining 156 part. So here 11n plus 10n is 21n. 21n is equal to 156 minus 30, 126. So, 21 goes 6 times in 126 means here n is equal to 6. Means C invested for 6 months. Then B invested for 6 plus 3, 9 months. Which means A alone invested for 3 months. So, option 2 is your answer. The following bar graph shows receipts and expenditure by a business firm over 5 years. Gain is equal to receipts minus expenditure. In which year did company gain minimum amount? Here this black mixed pattern shows receipts and this white mixed pattern shows expenditure. So to find the minimum gain, take the minimum difference between receipts and expenditure. Here x axis shows years and y axis shows rupees in lakhs. Here difference is 3. That is difference between receipts and expenditure is 3. Here difference 64 and 60. Difference is 4. Here 80 and 75. Difference is 5. But here 82 and 80. Difference is equal to 2. So 2 is the minimum. Here 93 and 87. Difference is larger. So in 2019 difference is minimum. 3 is your answer. 
three positive numbers are in the ratio two is to three is to four. The sum of their squares is two thousand three hundred and forty-nine. The average of first two numbers is here. Three numbers are in the ratio two is to three is to four means this is in the ratio two part is to three part is to four part. Then sum of their squares means two square part square. Plus three square part square plus four square part square. That is total sixteen plus nine plus four, which is twenty nine part square, which is equal to two thousand three hundred and forty nine. Then one part is equal to. Here we need average of the first two numbers, which is average is equal to two plus three five part by two numbers. That is five by two part is equal to Root of two three four nine divided by twenty nine into two point five. Five by two part means two point five part. So here, if I approximate the value, fifty square is equal to twenty five hundred. But this is twenty three hundred and forty nine. So I will consider it as fifty. That is fifty square is twenty five hundred. I will approximate the value. Now twenty nine. I will consider it as twenty five. So root twenty five is equal to five. So this is around ten. So ten into two point five is around twenty five. So this should be less than twenty five and nearly twenty five. Your answer should be less than twenty five and nearly twenty five. So your option four is your answer. Anyway, eighteen and thirty six not your answer because we need. A multiple of two point five. Multiple of two point five means twenty seven point five or twenty two point five. But here, this should be less than twenty five because I consider it as twenty five hundred and twenty five. So this should be less than twenty four and nearly twenty five. Nearly twenty five is option four. The sides of a triangular field are three sixty meter, four eighty meter, and six hundred meter. Its area is equal to the area of square field. What is the side of the square field? Here, if you take the ratio, one twenty goes three times in three sixty, one twenty goes four times in four eighty, one twenty goes five times in six hundred. So this is three is to four is to five is a triplet. That is three four five side are a triplet, which means here this. Three sixty, four eighty, and six hundred are triplets. That is, this is a right angled triangular field. So this is equal to three sixty. Height is equal to four eighty, and hypotenuse is equal to six hundred because three sixty square plus four eighty square is equal to six hundred square. Now, here area of the field is equal to area of square field. That is. Square area is equal to a square, which is equal to area of triangle, which is half base. Now, a is equal to root of here two goes two forty times in four eighty. So this is a is a is equal to root of three sixty into two forty. Here, this is three sixty into ten is. Thirty six hundred. So sixty square is equal to thirty six hundred. So this is sixty. Root thirty six hundred is sixty. Remaining twenty four. Six into four is twenty four. So root four is equal to two. Remaining root six. So this is one twenty root six. Option one is your answer. The person salary was decreased by fifty percentage and subsequently increased by fifty percentage. By what much percentage does his salary increase or decrease? Initially, consider hundred rupees was the salary. Then decreased by fifty percentage means hundred minus fifty is fifty rupees current salary. Again, increased by fifty percentage means fifty percentage of fifty is twenty five. So fifty plus twenty five seventy five rupees. Now salary is seventy five. So Decrement is equal to twenty five percentage. Hundred minus seventy five, twenty five percentage. Option four is your answer. In triangle ABC, DEFR midpoints of the side BC, CA, and AB. If BC is twenty five point six, CA is eighteen point eight, AB is twenty point four. What is the perimeter of the triangle DEF? Here, this DEFR midpoints. 
which means perimeter of smaller triangle DEF as half of the perimeter of larger triangle ABC because DEF are midpoints. Then perimeter is half of the larger triangle which is equal to half into perimeter of larger triangle is 25.6 plus 18.8 plus 20.4 so which is equal to 4 plus 8 12 12 plus 6 18 remaining 1 1 plus 8 9 9 plus 5 14 remaining 1 3 plus 1 9 4 4 plus 2 6 so 64.8 into half is equal to 32.4 option 3 is your answer that is here this is larger triangle ABC now if DEF is midpoint then perimeter of this smaller triangle is half of the perimeter of this larger triangle find the value of the following expression here this is in the form of a cube minus b cube divided by a square plus a b plus b square. That is a minus b is missing. a minus b means here 7.03 minus this is like 0.3 whole cube. So 7.03 minus 0.3 is equal to less than 7. Less than 7 here only answer 6.73. So option 4 is your answer. That is here if you look at this. This is like a cube minus b cube. So a cube minus b cube formula is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. Here if you look at this expression in numerator you have a cube minus b cube. That is 7.03 cube minus 0.3 cube. In denominator you have a square plus AB plus B square. So A minus B is missing. A minus B is missing means this answer is equal to A minus B which is 7.03 minus 0.3 which is equal to 6.73. And it length a sum of rupees 5000 on simple interest for 10 years in such a way that rate of interest is 6 percentage per annum for the first two years, 8 percentage per annum for the next two years and 10 percentage per annum beyond 4 years. How much interest will he earn at the end of 10 years? Here total principal is equal to 5000 rupees. Now total years is 10 years and for the first two years he lent it at 6 percentage per annum and for the next two years he lent it at 8 percentage per annum and beyond 4 years that is after 4 years he lent it at 10 percentage per annum that is beyond 4 years means 10 minus 4 for the next 6 years he lent it at 10 percentage per annum so total interest is for one year at a 6 percentage means 2 years it is 2 into 6 12 percentage so 2 into 8, 16 percentage. Here, 6 into 10, 60 percentage. So, total interest is 60 plus 28, 88 percentage. This is the total interest he received in 10 years from this 5000 rupees. Now, 88 percentage of 5000 means subtract 12 percentage from this 5000. 5000 means 100 percentage. So, to find 88 percentage of 5000, subtract 12 percentage. 10 percentage of 5000 is 500, 1 percentage is 50, then 12 percentage is equal to 12 into 50, 600 rupees. So, 88 percentage is equal to 4400 rupees. Option 2 is your answer. That is, at the end of 10 years, he will receive 4400 as the interest on this 5000 rupees sum. That is, 88 percentage of 5000 is 4400 rupees. The breakup of total number of employees of a company working in different offices in degrees is given in the pie chart. Total number of employees is 2400. 
if 40 percentage of the total number of employees in office A are shifted equally to office B and E, then what will be the sum of number of employees in B and C? Here in B and C you have 54 degree plus 18 degree that is total 72 degree offices are there, employees are there. Now, 40 percentage of total number of employees in office A. In office A, you have 126 degree. So, out of this 40 percentage are shifted equally to B and E. So, we need 20 percentage. Out of this 40 percentage, 20 percentage going to B and 20 percentage going to E. We don't need E. So, take 20 percentage of 126 degree. So, Total number of employees in B and C after this shifting is equal to initially there were 72 degree people. 72 degree means 72 degree out of total degree in pie chart is equal to 360 degree. So this 72 is out of 360 into total number of employees is 2400 plus now shifted employees is equal to 20 percentage of 126 degree that is 20 percentage of 126 degree is out of this 360 degree into total number of employees is 2400. So this is equal to 36 goes 2 times in 72 and here 0 0 cancel. So 240 into 2 is equal to 480 people initially in this B and C company. Now 0 0 cancel, 0 0 cancel and 12 goes 3 times in 36, 12 goes 2 times in 24. Now 3 goes 4 times in 12, 3 goes 2 times in 6. So 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 42 is equal to 4 into 2, 8. 4 into 4, 16. So 168 is the shifted paper. So total is equal to 480 plus 168, that is 648. So option one is your answer. O is the center of circle of radius 10 cm. If P is point outside the circle and PQ is a tangent to the circle, what is the length of PQ if the length of OP is 26 cm? Here, this is the circle with center O. Now, P is a point outside the circle. So, consider this is the point P outside the circle. Now, PQ is a tangent to the circle. So, consider this as point Q. Now, this is a tangent PQ to the circle. And here OP is 26 cm. OP is 26 cm. So, we have to find out what is PQ here. Length of PQ. Here, this OQ is radius of the circle which is 10 cm. Now, radius makes angle 90 degree with a tangent which means this is a right angle triangle then if this is 26 and this is 10 this should be pq should be 26 square minus 10 square which is equal to 26 square is equal to 676 676 minus 100 is equal to 576 so pq square is equal to 576 means pq is equal to 24 Option 4 is your answer. If A equal to 30 degree, what is the value of 8 sin A plus 11 cos e k minus cot square A divided by 10 cos 2 A? Here, 8 sin A means sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 plus 11 cos e k is equal to 1 by sin A. So, cos e 30 is equal to 2 minus cot square A. Tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3. So, cot 30 is equal to root 3. So, minus cot square A means cot square 30 is root 3 square divided by 10 into cos 2A means cos 60. Cos 60 is equal to sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2. So, 2 goes 5 times in 10. 2 goes 4 times in 8. 4 plus 22 minus 3. 4 plus 22 is equal to 
26 26 minus 3 is equal to 23 23 by 5 is equal to 5 goes 4 times in 20 remaining 3 so 4 into 3 by 5 option 2 is your answer the distance between two stations A and B is 200 km a train runs from A to B at a speed of 75 km per hour while another train runs from B to A at a speed of 85 km per hour. What will be the distance between two trains 3 minutes before they meet? That is here, distance between station A and B is equal to 200 km and train from station A to B runs at a speed of 75 km per hour and train from station A B to A runs at a speed of 85 km per hour. Now, here we have to find out the distance between these two trains 3 minutes before they meet. So, if you look at this, here in 1 hour, train from station A to B travels 75 km and in same 1 hour, train from station B to A travels 85 km. So, total distance travelled by these two trains in 1 hour is equal to 75 plus 85 which is equal to 160 km. In 1 hour, if these two trains cover 160 km, so in 3 minutes, in 3 minutes, these two trains will cover 160 into 3 minutes. That is 160 into 3 by 60 hour. 3 minute means 3 by 60 hour. That is in 1 hour these two trains will cover 160 km. So in 3 by 60 hour these two trains will cover 160 into 3 by 60 km which is equal to 3 cos 20 times in 60, 20 cos 8 times in 160. So 8 km. Option 2 is your answer. 3 minutes before they meet the distance between these two is 8 km. If you have doubt, if you look at this. Two trains travel at opposite direction and in T time they will meet each other. They will meet at T time. Now we have to find out the distance between these two trains three minutes before they meet. Consider three minutes before, three minutes before they are at a distance T. Consider three minutes before they are at a distance D. Now if you find how much distance D they will cover in 3 minutes. That is your answer. That is, if you find how much distance D they will cover in 3 minutes, that is your answer. The following histogram shows marks scored by 40 students in a test of 30 marks. A student has to score a minimum of 10 marks to pass the test. What is the percentage of students who pass the test? A percentage of students pass the test is equal to total number of students is 40. And out of this 40, here this is the 10 mark bar. And x axis shows marks and y axis shows number of students. Here 2 plus 8, 10 students scored less than 10 marks, which means 10 students failed. So remaining 30 students passed. So required percentage is 30 by 40 into 100. 20 goes 2 times in 40, 20 goes 5 times in 100. So 2 goes 15 times in 30. Percentage is equal to 15 into 5, 75 percentage. Option 1 is your answer. Performance of 1800 students in grades has been shown in the following pie chart. The number of students getting grade B is what percentage of the number of students getting grade A. Here you don't have to consider about this 1800 because here pie chart is given which is percentage. So in the end it will cancel each other. So even if you take 100 or 1800, number is, doesn't matter here. So take the percentage. Here if I consider total 100 students, in grade A you have 30 percentage, that is 30 people. And in grade B you have 27 percentage, that is 27 people. So required percentage is equal to number of students getting grade B. Grade B is equal to 27 percentage people that is 27 people. Now number of students getting grade A is equal to 30 people. So 27 by 30 into 100 which is equal to 90 percentage. Option 2 is your answer. That is number of students getting grade B 
that is 27 as 90 percentage of 30. If 2 cos a plus 1 into 2 cos a minus 1 is equal to 0, where 0 less than a less than or equal to 90 degree, then find the value of a. Here this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b is equal to 0. a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So here a square is equal to 2 cos a the whole square which is 4 cos square a minus 1 square is equal to 1 which is equal to 0 which means cos square a is equal to 1 by 4 then cos a is equal to 1 by 2 means a should be 60 degree because cos 60 is 1 by 2 so option 4 is your answer.